make a difference. Because I can put it in the freezer. Now it does. And we're also going to make a recipe. I'm going to use the double espresso share. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Griselda, and today we're going to do a review of the very hyped up Hyper Chiller. This I have been hearing about and seeing for probably the last year before I finally decided to just go ahead and buy one. I was really curious if it worked, if it was easy, the size, like I, I had a lot of questions. I kept seeing it on Alex Mojica's channel and so I was kind of curious if it was gonna be something that I could use and like. You know, you hate when you buy something and you're like, and you end up not liking it and returning it. So I was just really curious if it would even make a difference because I am used to making iced coffee by just, like I think like most people, by brewing the coffee and then pouring it over ice. Pretty, seems pretty easy, but it's supposed to dilute your coffee, which is not what we want. We want our coffee to be strong and powerful because that's why we drink it. So that's what we're gonna try today. I'm actually going to, I got this a couple days ago. I've been waiting to share it with you, but I did put it together. I washed it and I filled it with water to like prep it, to put it in the freezer. Now it does come, I got the pink one. It does come with a pamphlet, it's pretty easy to use. Um, that's pretty much it, just plastic. So there are several components of it and I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you when I get it out of the freezer because that's where it is right now. But I did record a couple of clips. They are vertical. So I'm going to put those in right here. Okay, so you saw the clips and you you can see that there's several pieces to this hyper chiller. There's that outside compartment and those two metal containers on that screw on that are on the inside. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take you with me. We're gonna go to the freezer that we have in the garage to go grab it. And then we're also gonna make a recipe. I am going to make my version or like a kind of copycat version of the Starbucks caramel macchiato, which only has a couple of ingredients, but I am going to give it a little bit of a twist. So I know that the Starbucks one I think comes with their their simple syrup maybe or vanilla syrup I think is what I've seen on a couple of different websites. I'm gonna use the Monin toasted marshmallow syrup and then for my caramel sauce I have the Tarani so that's what I'm gonna use. But first let's go grab it from my freezer. I, I haven't I haven't even peeked. It's been probably a day and a half. It's supposed to go in for 12 hours and it's been way more than that. So let's go let's go get it. All right. Oh here it is. All the way. It's being protected by Girl Scout cookies, but oh, it's pretty heavy. Okay, so let's get this inside. I just grabbed it, but I'm actually not ready for it, so I put it back in the freezer. But I wanted to say the instructions, it comes with this little pamphlet, this little cute little booklet. The instructions say you can brew directly into it, or you can just pour the freshly brewed coffee directly into the um, lid, and then you swirl it for 60 seconds. And now it gives you all kinds of different times for depending on what what liquid you're putting in, like wine or uh, small, large coffees. I am, I'm gonna do small because I'm gonna use the double espresso chiaro, double express, double espresso chiaro. Uh, so it's the small one, which is still 60 seconds. I'm gonna brew the espresso and then we're gonna pour it in. So let's go. Did that stress anyone else out? Look at how full it got. I got real stressed for a second, but it always does that. Okay, so this is piping hot. So this is what it looks like. I wanna pour it in and we've gotta swirl it for 60 seconds. I wanna make a mess. Sixty seconds and go. I hope I'm swirling correctly. All right, it's my annoying sound. <laughs> I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna go grab the Chobani oat milk that I froth. I love using this Chobani oat milk. It's plain. It's really good. I think I'm gonna use it all in here and this is an old because my nespresso frother is dirty so i'm going to use this one this one i got 
before I actually got my Nespresso. I'll put a link down below, but I'm gonna put in milk here. I might need a tiny bit more because I'm gonna use a really big glass. So instead of putting the syrup in the espresso, which I know I've seen done plenty of times, I am gonna go ahead and use the Monin toasted marshmallow and I'm gonna just put it in with the milk. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna do one healthy tablespoon. So now to froth this up. While we wait, I wanted to show the the tumbler that I'm gonna use because this is an ice drink. Let me take this stuff out, but I'm gonna use the tree um, tumbler that I got from Walmart. It comes with the straw and the lid. So I'm gonna use that. Before I put ice in this, I'm going to cover it in caramel sauce. I'm trying to make it pretty, but it doesn't, I don't know how pretty it's gonna be. All right, I think that's enough. And now to put ice. It's nice that this frother, just like the Nespresso one, also has a cold frothing milk option. So let's pour. And now for the moment. All right, pour it out. Is it all out? I'm gonna add a little bit more. So now to try it. It's, it's really cold, which I, I guess shouldn't be a surprise. Wow, this does remind me. I don't think I ever even mentioned that that used to be my go-to Starbucks drink. If I wasn't sure what I wanted, if I wasn't sure what I was in the mood for, what coffee I was like craving, my go-to was always caramel macchiato. Always, always, always. Sometimes hot, sometimes iced. Close second would be like that white chocolate mocha, but caramel macchiato was always my go-to with extra caramel sauce. And this tastes like the identical thing to me. I could probably put another shot of espresso in it, but this is delicious. And that toasted marshmallow gives a really good flavor. The toasted marshmallow also doesn't necessarily taste like, like marshmallow E, you know? It doesn't taste like that marshmallow flavor, if that's what you're thinking. Toasted marshmallow really tastes very sweet and almost like buttery maybe, but it doesn't. <laughs> I'm looking at the ingredients on the bottle and it's literally sugar, water, natural flavors, citric acid. So I don't know what magic they put in there because it's not just sugar water. It tastes, it has a different taste than like a vanilla would. It tastes, it tastes like, like kind of like a marshmallow, but also a little bit buttery. If that makes any sense. Wow, it's delicious. The espresso super cold. So I am kind of impressed. I mean, my expectations were very like super low, super low because I really didn't think it was gonna make a huge difference. And we drink iced coffee a lot during the summer, probably daily. I think I start like during, during this last summer, I was just making cold brew every single day instead of brewing any coffee. I don't think I used either one of these for like the entire month of July. I think I bought cold brew or I made cold brew the entire month because it was too hot to drink hot coffee. So I think the hyper chiller will definitely come in handy during those hotter months or whenever I'm in the mood for something for like a cold coffee and I don't like, I don't wanna make it ahead of time and then put it in the refrigerator and wait 12 hours or 30, whatever. Cause that's what I would do sometimes is I would brew coffee and I'd put it in the refrigerator or the freezer for anywhere from like 10 minutes to like an hour. I'd have to plan it ahead of time and I hated doing that and I'd always forget. I'd either forget my coffee or I just would end up brewing another cup of coffee. So I am pretty happy with this hyper chiller. I guess only time will tell if I will actually use it frequently and how easy it is to clean once like this is my first use. So I'm not sure how how that works, but okay, final thoughts. You should get a hyper chiller if you're curious to know to see if it works. And if it's on and only if it's on sale. It's normally I think I think it's normally $25. I bought it a couple days ago. Do not buy it if it's $24. I'm gonna put a link below, but do not buy it if it's $24. Wait until it goes on sale. I think I got it when it was $15 a couple of days ago. And actually it was $15 for several days because I ended up putting it in my cart and I forgot about it. And then I finally did decide to go and purchase it and it was still at that price. So do not buy it at the regular price. But if you're curious to know if it works, if you like iced coffee, uh, if you're interested in something that will not dilute your precious coffee or espresso, or wine, apparently you can do wine in there, then I would say grab it. Otherwise, you don't you don't need it. I probably don't need it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. I'm just curious to know. Oh, to prepare for your next use, simply pour clean water through the lid as you did with coffee and then pour back out into the sink. Lastly, dry off condensation from the outside and put the product back in the freezer. Ah!
Well, that changes things a little bit. That does change things a little bit. Okay, well, maybe I'll, I will be happy with this and maybe I will not return it. You're welcome, Amazon. So that's awesome. Okay, so you just essentially rinse it and then put it back in the, in the freezer, but wipe, wipe it off before and continue on to the next one. I, I was literally done. I was giving, I was doing my outro and my battery died. So safe to say, I'm gonna be excited to use it. We'll see if it is really easy to clean. Now that I know that, I was actually wondering if I had to like let it thaw and do it all over again, but it's ready to go, ready to be used. I'm excited that I got to try this fine Finally, and I actually really like it. I'm excited for when my husband decides he wants to do iced coffees again and we can start doing those more frequently. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed the recipe. My easy, quick, I mean, honestly, it's super easy, quick caramel macchiato with toasted marshmallow recipe and my review on the hyper chiller that I strongly recommend do not buy it unless it's on sale. Okay. Unless you really need it, but you don't, you probably don't need it. But if you do, the link will be below either way. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate every single one of you for watching this and for also uh, going and following me on Instagram. I know you've seen a couple of familiar faces there and watching all the short or the not shorts. There's shorts on here, but the reels that I make on Instagram and I ultimately share here at some point, but Thank you so, so much. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna still do Vlogmas. It's like the end of December already, but I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm gonna continue it. So I might just stick to some of these coffee videos because vlogging is hard. Again, thank you. Have an amazing day. I hope you had a fantastic coffee. I'm about to drink this one and I'll see you next time. Bye.